Heather Ward Miles and I am from Indianapolis, Indiana and I do large abstract painting. It sounds so cliche but I'm inspired by all kinds of things just really it's anything it's politics it's family life I uh, really focus on trying to incorporate like both the beautiful aspects of life and like the joyful aspects and the more like brutal like there's a little balance of everything you know it has to have to have the good you have to have some of the bad i do think that my family life and my home life and being a parent and travel all inspire me as a person but then i am heavily influenced by social and political things happening in our country right now and in the world and i really feel like a lot of times abstract painting is sort of not representational or people assume it's not representational but I really try and make sure each painting I'm very focused on something that I'm thinking about and like what's inspired or the ideas behind that painting so that it resonates with people. I hope that people can see themselves in my work and definitely just like the joys in life. I think people a lot of times talk to me about connecting to that part of the work and sort of like some sort of interconnectedness with the universe. I started painting because I wanted them in my house and a lot of times buying work that big you you can't find that many options and they price themselves out of any kind of like reasonable range. My goal was always to make big pretty work that could be purchased. <laughs> and like could be in people's houses. And so I just like the impact of a really large piece of work on a wall. We all want our house to be reflective of ourselves. And I like creating work that people feel like they can purchase and put in their house and feel like that is reflective of me. So a lot of times I start with no idea at all. I just begin a painting and there's a few layers of just like base layers and then I start to sort of direct it and think about a certain thing or the title. I take notes as I work and the title usually presents itself in those notes and what I'm thinking about and I can direct it after that. I start with canvas almost always. Everything's on canvas. It's gallery wrapped and then I do change I alter acrylic paints like by adding water so that it's more of a spray or adding um, transparency like a transparent base to make um, layer upon layer upon layer so that there's a lot of depth or a lot of things going on I think sometimes photographs of the work don't show all those things that are going on behind it but I just paint and then I scrape some things away and then I paint and then I scrape some things away. I did a lot of printmaking in college and I see printmaking in my work. I see layers like screen printing but then I see like relief printing where I'm scraping away to get different textures. I think Lamire has done a great job like this is so well done and I can't wait to see it and see how everything goes. Um, it is scary and it's sad because I miss the art fairs and I miss um, having large audiences for my work. But I do really appreciate all of the people that I've met through the art fair circuit because so many people have contacted me during this time to buy work or commission work or really just like show love. Even some people just send me pictures being quarantined at home with their paintings. Just like really sweet things that people are reaching out and maybe they're just like checking on me. <laughs> they're like worried, but I appreciate it. And it's just so sweet to hear people reach out and contact me. <laughs>